What's up Brick Builders? It's Sean from Britain Bricks and today's build is the Drag Racer. It's uh, part of the James York challenge that we have. Uh, set number 42050. Uh, the year it was released was 2016. Age group, you're looking about 10 plus. Um, kind of a complicated build a bit, I guess. Uh, number of parts, uh, we got 647 parts this piece and price per piece is 8 pence per piece, that's, that's, that's not too bad. Uh, cost when it was brand new was 49.99 but if you have one now, box sealed uh, in good condition, you're looking at around about 71 pounds, 71 pounds 50, something like that. Uh, used, it depends on what condition you've got, if you've got it just like uh, with a box damaged or no box instructions 38 pounds if you've got uh, you know the instructions in good condition bricks are in good condition um, maybe the box as well you're looking about 54 pounds so 38 to 54 pounds for this uh, for this particular set not a major investment unfortunately Hello, hello, oh my gosh, look at my hair. Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing, guys? How are you doing? Right. Here it is. Here it is. Let's move the uh, keyboard out of the way. So we've got a little bit of playroom here. I uh, got the instructions online on lego.com. So I'll be following those. You won't see the instructions on here. Do, 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 do. There we go. And right, so we got our trusty cup of tea as well. Lots of parts. Everything's everything's been counted out should be counted out everything black pins the lot everything so we've got some pretty chunky tires and there's some parts in the tires <laughs> it's not going to come out is it there we go all right we'll put the tires aside The tyres weren't overly too hard to find um, in James's stuff. It's uh, uh, a certain print. Got some still stuck in there. There we go. See, as you can see, that print there. That's. I was one of the kind and those weren't too hard to find either these are quite a common one but this one I think he only has one set of those anyway so they weren't too difficult to find and the rims were with the tires we got some unique color it's like a sky blue light turquoise I think this is what they call like a um, azure Try not to let the pins roll everywhere. There we go. I think that's everything. We do have a sorting tray if we want. Managed to free one up um, when uh, when I was going through parts. So might put pins in there if they if they get a bit leery. Uh, let's put the let's put the rims aside as well. Okay, the rims. We've got smaller rims. Right, so to start off, we need a 15 red, a lot of these, you can compare it to the size of the screen, the size of the screen is a little bit out, 
if we can get that uh, proper size almost I should do it and um, yeah so we want one of those two blue pins the two blue pins are going to go into the ends here uh, blue pin and then space and blue pin and we've got two black pins as well that are going to go into the other side so we got black pin and again on the end space and then next to it stage two we want black pin L shape five by two was that five yeah five by two black L shape five by two there we go uh, that's going to go on the end of the blue pins like like so and then we've got uh, another black pin and a grey connector find a grey connector this is like a treasure hunt this is I kind of like I kind of like this. Where's the treasure hunt? Treasure hunt. Well, we got a black pin, and we want the grey connector. There we go. So black pin's going to go into the centre, and then this is going to go in between where the black pins went, like that. And then we got another fifteen. Go close this off. So that's going to go on there. That's going to go on. Let me get this kind of lined up like that. And then we got two black pins going on the end here. So we'll take the two closest black pins we've got and mirror image the other side. So you got that kind of thing. And then. Stage three, stage four is long blue pin. We want two of those, okay. And four blue pins with axle. All right, that blue pin's rolling. So we got one. You're rolling. All right, we'll put pistons in there. Uh, blue pin with axle. It's two. Let me do what I want. Two, four. Four. There's another. And another. Okay, so build it. Right, so we need a red connector as well. Not one of those, but the other one. This one here. Smashing, and the axles are going to go into the axle holes like so, and then a blue pin is going to go in the top like that. And we got to make two of these, okay? Right, so we need another one of those red connectors. We'll put that in there because that's a different one, that's the same. Could move the plates as well. Let's pop plates in there. Got four big, big plates like that, and we'll put the blue ones in there as well. And we got some smaller ones of those. Now we should see the wood between the trees. So there should be another one of those. Put the 
blue beans. I see it. I found it. I found it. Here he is. You're rolling. And uh, again, drag. What's up, DJ? How you doing, mate? Yep, I'm doing a dragster. I'm doing a dragster. I uh, found all the pieces today after uh, after work, so that's going to go in there this is going to go in there like so cool and then we've got a is that seven black seven black that's a seven black and that's going to go across like that and then we've got another blue pin and he's going to go in lengthways like that so it's half and half what have you been up to DJ and we got some grey sleeves picked up one that was rolling and there's another one. Work, work, work. Yeah, I know what you mean, mate. I know what you mean. All right, so let's pop that down there. We've got another gray sleeve rolling. Uh, so we want, it's like a H shape. Like that. So we've got T bars. Let's put the T bars in here. We've got engine blocks. We'll put the engine blocks in here as well. Like that. There we go. Found a H piece right there. Uh, two gray um, sleeves a four long <clears throat> dark bluish gray by the looks of things axle with a stopper like that all right build it so the axle is going to go through there then we're going to put this collar on here like that so we've got a little bit of movement um are we doing two of these right okay so that's that, that's that. So pop that aside and we move on another grey axle with a stopper. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty cool car actually, eh? It's gonna be a pretty cool car. He did seem to like his cars. He's got the H shape. I just want the a grey axle with stopper. Right, there's a longer one. There it is. And again, put the collar on top. We go and then these are going to be fitted to is 
probably fit it to there by the looks of things now then how do they get mounted did that sit in there maybe I think I think that's how it goes like that and then and then stage eight is a gear black moon gear uh, we got some gray gears but we want the black ones this one and we want a red collar we want another grey connector, like that, and we want a five long, perfect, axle with stopper. The axle is going to go through the connector, then the collar is going to go on top, and then the gear is going on the front of that and then this is going into what looks like the middle hole of the black beam like so so that's what we got so far we got a little bit of movement there movement here guessing these are axles that's what I'm guessing not the kind of axle work that we've seen in some of these Technic builds that he had. And so then we got a steering rack. There we go, the steering rack. And this is going to attach to these guys here. Teeth down, so that it's going against that that moon gear I call them moon gears and with luck there you go yep we got some steering so those are definitely front axles then we've got a seven black beam is going to go across these two there still giving us some steering cool Blue pin rolling the tea just does not last long enough right so then we got a three a three long gray axle these are our three longs and we've got one of these that we put away earlier the three long it's going through there and no it's not that's not that's not it's getting okay i see right so this is going to go on the longer gear and then this is going to go through there is it going to protrude no it goes straight in oh i see it's locking the whole thing in place right okay there so that's that that's stage 10 stage 11 one black pin uh one four angle connector dark bluish gray that's a four angle connector uh, one black pin seven long yellow axle uh, like a crank handle light bluish gray there we go crank handle and that's it right so let's build it build it right so that goes on there 
stuff in goes through there and the crank handle goes there and then it's going to go through two holes from the black pin like that and then that's going to secure that in place cool beans uh, stage 12 another crank handle of course because we're going to be uh, securing the other side so that's going to go on there through there like that and stage 13 is a larger gray gear we have we have one of those here uh two black connectors there's one one and two that's two and a four axle how many we've got one one four axle which is black Lots of pins on this side. Uh, do we need that one? Yes, we do. And there's our four axle. All right, build it. So this one is, okay, I see, I see. All right, so this is gonna go through the gear like that. Then the connector is going to go on the end of that. Then the axle is going to go on the end of the connector. And then the connector is going to go on the end of the axle to extend the axle. And that is going to connect to the steering. It should, but it just completely pushed it out, didn't it? Hang on a second. Push that through. Push it through again. There we go. Right. There we go. Cool. And that is stage 13. Stage 14, we have a three long light gray beam. There's one. A T bar. We put those away. There's one. Another one of those grey connectors with the hole in the middle. There we go. Uh, another light grey gear. Another light grey gear. Um, one black pin. One black pin. An eight long axle with a stopper on the end. I think this is the eight long. It is and two blue pins well we've got two of those hiding so we'll use those and let's build it so the blue pins are going to go in short end like so and then we've got a five gray beam as well it's going to go on top of that so you got that then you've got a black pin on the end here like so and then what looks like the long axle is going to go through the middle then it's going to be locked off with the gear like that uh, and we got the connector with the hole in the middle going to go on the end there on the pin black pin and then the T-bar is going to fit on the end of that. So we got that. Turn it around. And then this is going to fit on the end like that. OK. 
cliccare that's interesting it's not spinning it so what's going to do this <coughs> ah well I guess we'll find out it's looking good so far it's looking good and stage 15 another light gray gear should be the last one actually I think there's three of those in this so there's a light gray gear black connector brown pin with stopper so black connector black connector build it so this is going to go through the axe uh, through the gear and then it's going to go through all there and then the connector is going to go on the end of the brown axle so that's going to start turning the steering and then we've got 15 long red and two black pins and black pins gonna go on the end space space and then black pin so it's like that and then this is gonna go on top from the gray connector with the hole in the middle to the blue pin on the front that we put in earlier like that and I'm guessing we go put another one on the other side not yet uh, we got a gray connector one of these with an axle hole a three axle three axle uh, one blue pin, one blue pin, and a black connector. There we go. What black beam? So let's build it. So the three axle is going to go through the connector. Then the beam is going to go on the axle facing down push that through a little bit more like so push there we go and then the blue pin is going to go all the way through and then we got another one of these connectors going on here on the end like so so you got that funny looking shape and then this is going to connect onto so we got three holes one two three there like that And then we've got another 15 red, <coughs> black pin on the end, three space, one, two, three. So it's gonna go there. And then we've got blue pin, short end in. Then we've got a space and another blue pin, short end in, so it looks like that. And then this is going to go I may have put that in wrong actually I may have put that in wrong that's going to go inside like that and then that's going to go that way so on the end of the blue pit there's three pins to line up two blue pins one here 
Where are you? There you go. And then the grey pin at the end. Like that. Ah, it's starting to look a bit solid. That's a bit better in the middle there. That makes more sense. Not sure what these blue pins are doing here, but we'll find out. And, oh, right, okay, stage 19 is the engine. So, got one of these funny shape looking pieces here. And we got a blue short pin. It's going in this hole here. And then we've got two black pins with collars on the end. So we'll pick those up. Those are going to go into the top. These are usually for pushing in later on to secure things. So those are going to go in top like that and then black pin going on the other side where that blue pin is like so okay now we want seven black pins so one two let's pop them in here three four Okay, and four engine blocks. One, two, three, four. Move this over a little bit. There we go. And so the black pins are going to go into the engine blocks. that and then the next one is going to go like that black pin and a blue pin short end in first so it's like that then that's going to go on the end of that and then this is going to push through to secure that in place see what I mean by these pins they're, they're really cool. Um, they just like sit there for a bit until you're ready to actually secure the uh, the particular item you're building. Right, so eight pistons. So we got two, three, four. Seven, eight pistons, uh, two yellow cranks, two yellow cranks, eight piston arms, one, one two. Some parts as well, or can 
shaft parts. <clears throat> right, build it. Oh yeah, and we need three red axles. Three red axles. Now we can build it. Right, let's do it. Da, 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 da. Right, we'll use this piece first. And then that piece goes on there. That piece goes on there. Oh, other way around. Like so. And then you put the tan piece on like so. Then you get the red pin, or red axle, go through, and then you got more arms, and then you got another one of these cam looking pieces, then you got a red beam. Axle arms again, and then down, secure it with the tan last tan piece, axle, and one there, and then the arm. And secure it with the last cam piece. <coughs> so it looks like that. With a bit of luck, that's right. And so then we got the pistons are going on. Three, four. I'll just turn it around. There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Cool. Now get it all lined up. <laughs> right, four axle black. I want a four axle black. There we go. And just gotta lay that there for now. The axle is going to go in. In the middle hole, bollocks things. So the way this seems to go is get those lined up. sure that looks right that one's correct that one is incorrect That's how it should be. 
and then the axle is going to connect to the cam. This cam. Like so. And you do have some sort of piston movement. I'm not going to mess around with it too much so that they don't fall out. Next is the engine blocks on the other side. <clears throat> and same again, black pins. Push it together, black pins. Push it together, black pins. Last one, black pin on this side, blue pin, short end in that side, roll it upside down, line these guys up. Like so, put it on the wrong side. <laughs> there we go, like that. I think that that blue pin is supposed to be. The other side. And then I guess lock it in with that black pin there. Looks interesting. So we've got that, and then the end is going to be capped off with the same looking brick just to make it really solid. it all the way home and we should have piston action there we go nice very simple but very cool and so what's next two two black pins are going to go in the bottom here so that's one two okay uh, stage 27 is we want two black pins, two black pins, well volunteered, uh, a three axle, three axle, um, ET's head, ET's head, and two black Build it! All right, so this one, we've got the axle, going through the axle hole on the bar. 
Then it's going to go through E.T.'s head, through, through his neck, and then the other side's going to go on the end of the axle there. So you've got that. And then we've got two black pins going off here, looking like we've got some shoulders. And then this is going to go on the end. I see. It's going to go on the end like that. Okay. Stage 28. Oh, we've got another gray gear. Oh, we do. Yeah, right on the end here. That's going to go on the end of the axle. Like so. Sharky, hello, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. And then we gotta find this one black piece. This took me forever to find in his collection. And now, because there's only one of them, Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, by sickness. Ooh, that's not nice. Uh, what's going on, mate? Have you uh, have you got COVID? And then this is going to sit on top where the other. go in that way by the looks of things so it's kind of like that be a supercharger or something okay we've got a t-bar going on the front and then we've got two black pins going in here as well like we did on the other side so we'll put two black pins in first oh uh, sick of a weekend uh, with the flu and the day after I got better from oh you got bronchitis ooh not nice not nice I'm sorry dude good job you don't smoke so it goes on like that well um, yeah I guess you can uh, feel free to hang out and um, and uh, watch some Lego. So we got 18 track pieces. Now, I should have put those together. There's 18, 18 track pieces and they're, they're like the Caterpillar track. See that? And let's see if you can see the claw on the end there that hooks over that bar there. So you've got 18 of these, so there's one. Oh, there's two. One, two, three. Okay, we're doing good. I've got to put them together while I'm doing it so that I don't knock them about. So I'll put them together. And it should form a chain. There you go. So it forms a chain that used for capital tracks but mostly motorbike chains and stuff like that and I'm guessing this is a chain for the cam how many pieces is that that's four isn't it I should just count them instead of putting them together so we've got four we need 18 so <clears throat> kind of looking for a needle in a haystack. Needle, oh, there's no one. Four, five, eight. Needle in a haystack. Six. Needle in a haystack. Seven. Thirteen, 
one more. Didn't put on the line. One more, one more chain. Put that chain together. Put that chain together. Oh. Is that? Uh, but I have to wait one to three weeks to see if it gets better, right? Oops, I missed that. Uh, on its own, if it doesn't then they have to get it checked out yeah yeah unfortunately it's one of those things that takes time doesn't it um but uh, yeah i'm sure it's gone to your chest already oh, i put it in the wrong way around Join it together. And you get a chain. Pretty cool. Even looks like it has chain links. Look at that. And that. Oh, it has, yeah. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry. That is going to go. Where is that going to go? Oh, I see we're going to mount it to mount the engine to this part here. So that's going to go on here. We have these two black pins lined up like so. Look at that. Yes. Yes, mate. Now then, what's going on here? seems to be just sitting there doesn't it hmm oh well apparently the chain goes over these two cogs here now this is where we find out if we've got the right chain or not because I really wasn't too sure about that Oh, it looks good to me. Uh, it looks a bit loose at the moment. Got a little bit of slack, but then once you pop this up, we have, look at that. We have, <coughs> nice. The chain action, look, chain action, yeah. Vroom, vroom. Well, that's a big okay so this is a big part already this is like obviously the front how big is this thing doesn't seem to be enough parts there to make it that big okay so we are securing it in place with 15 gray okay these are 15 gray <coughs> And this is what's going to go in between these pegs here to hold the actual engine up, which then takes the slack <coughs> off the um, 
off the uh, chain so it tightens it up so there you go and that's going to go in should go in there like that right there we go still a little bit slack i think that's probably how it's going to be maybe that's too many links i don't know evening mate hello belch how you doing mate we got a james york challenge on the go today and oh we're extending <coughs> we are extending whatever it is the chassis a little bit more so we're now getting a little bit of a bigger vehicle and then we'll pop that aside for now and we've got a seven long black seven long black that's a seven long black uh, a grey pin with a uh, axle on the end. Grey pin with an axle on the end. A uh, light bluish grey. It is actually going to be like a light bluish grey pin. It looks right yeah looks right so a black pin with a collar there we go um a h shape a h shape there we go h shape um three blue pins one two three okay okay yeah hey, i'm good mate i'm good uh i found, i got this all together today so this is what we're building. Uh, a five by three or five by two L shape. So move those aside. And how are you? How is everything going today? Right, so the H shape is going to go into the beam, like so. And then we got the blue pins gonna go in short end on the five by two just chilling nice just chilling's good just chilling is good and then that's gonna go into the H shape like so and then we've got the gray pin Going into the back end of the pin with the uh, black pin with the axle uh, with the, uh, the sleeve, and then that's going to go in here, ready to push through, I guess, later. Uh, the other blue pin is in there, and that looks like it's poised and ready to push through later as well. Then we're going to flip this like that I waiting to watch an interview tomorrow uh, waiting to watch an interview tomorrow gonna be talked about for months um, okay that's a bit cryptic but okay so oh I see the axle is gonna go through here it's gonna go through here So this is going to go like that and then I guess you're pushing this pin home yet no yes push that pin home like that and then this pin home as well come on go on you know we want it there you go told you like that
We love Piers Morgan. Okay. Is that is that what it's called, or is is that just uh, something you're saying about Piers Morgan? You like Piers Morgan that much? And this is going to go through there, and then we got a space, and that going there, and then this is going to go right there. who's doing the interview what's he doing the interview who's he doing the interview with stop being cryptic this looks like a seat so that's going to go oh Cristiano Ronaldo okay gotcha see now that makes more sense so you're waiting for an interview that's been done by Piers Morgan that is with Christian Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. He slagged off Ronaldo. Uh, that's nice of him. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. All right, so then we've got a blue short pin. Uh, Last one of those two blue pins with Axel. I could do with another cup of tea. Oh, the speedo. The speedo. Now then, that's going to be a tricky piece to feed. It's a printed part, a uh, circular tile, and. When I was sorting his stuff out a while back. I started putting printed parts in a bag, just like force of habit because I do that with my stuff. There's a steering wheel. And when I came across this piece, I was like, oh no. How am I supposed to find that? We slagged off United. Oh. So he didn't slag off Ronaldo. He slagged off United. So if we can get a, a really good close up of that there you go you can see the speedo print on it yeah that was actually in the bag that i had started um sorting for james so that was a lucky find <laughs> i was very i was very uh, lucky to put those in a place beforehand so this is this is going to go through here like that okay and then that's going to go Ronaldo slagged off man united in the interview with Pitts oh see from what i got the way you were saying it, because you were saying it all in pieces and not the whole thing, was that Pierce Morgan had slagged off Ronaldo and slagged off United. There you go. And now you're saying it's Ronaldo slagged off. Yeah. No, that's what you got. That's it, you, you read your you read your chat and you'll be like, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I get that. But that's how it's going. It's because I'm eating and typing at the same time. Oh, right. Okay. Got to eat and type. Got to eat and type. So that's going to go in there. Like that. There we go. Look, we got our, we got our control area there. Steering wheel, seat, and our little speedo. Yay. Like I say, I can't believe that I actually saved that part. That was... That was good because I would have spent ages looking for it. Right, so then we're closing off the other side now with the other L shape. So we've got the L shape and then we've got a black pin. Black pin's going to go in the end of the L shape. 
and then it's going to go onto this grey pin and these two blue pins and that actually went quite well so you know we're getting solid and then we're probably going to put the grey bars and the red bars on to, to close that off as well not yet no okay so we got a three axle three axle uh a gray five by five with a stop not a stopper it's a thing i think we've only got one of these in this build and i saw it earlier because i picked it up accidentally Did see it earlier. Dark bluish grey. There it is. And we want a connector, a black connector. There we go, it's a black connector. So the black connector is going to go like that, and then the three axle is going to go in the end of that. And then this is going to go and join this connector here for the steering on the end there. And then is yes, it's going to go like that, so that we still have the steering being used there. Uh, what's oh, I see that's driving the. So this is probably going to be connected to the rear axle, is my guess. So when you push it along, uh, we got T bar. So we got T bar, and that is going to go across both of the axles. Okay, that I was just showing you, and then push it onto those grey pins there like that cool slash slash is connected to axle oh yeah I guess he is you think you saw this Argos it, it, they say in Argos yesterday I doubt it I very much doubt it it's retired mate long time ago in the galaxy far far away which came out 2016, retired in 2017. So I very highly doubt that Argos has this. One. Uh, two connectors. A yellow axle. And then we just go put the connectors on each side of the axle. And this is going to connect to the engine axle. Vroom, vroom. Cool. Alright, so what are these two fifteens? So we want the H the H shape. Pretty big. So I can't find it because it's so big. No, there we go. I have four blue pins. Two, three, and four. And these are just going to go in either uh, ends of the top and bottom of the H. Ah, okay. It must be so. Yeah, there is something similar out there, but it's that. That's a a, a three and one, I think. Um, I've seen a similar one that's a three and one and two 15 reds right so we got uh, one two three four five hole and then two three four five one two three four five and that's a bid and this is going to go as another bid 
like that. And then this is going to do this. It's going to do the same. If I can get it lined up right, like that. It's like helicopter skids. Skids. Uh, one black pin. One black pin is going in that hole there. Then we got a blue pin going in short ways like that so gosh another bid jeez people are going crazy uh l shape uh what is this that's a five by two okay five by two three black pins so we got one going in the top of the l shape then we got a space and then we got one going in the end of the L shape, like so. And then, and then, this is connecting to that, like so. Interesting. Right, and then we got a five gray. There we go, five gray. Uh, two black pins. So one, two, <coughs> and what looks like old bicycle uh, fork um, Well, you'll see in a minute, I'm gonna pick it up. So and if it reminds you of your your old bicycle rally grifter or something, your, your front forks would come down here and this is where you're your uh, tube would be for your handlebars to go across. But we got one of those. And it looks like pins on the end and a hole on the on the top. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of Grifter, Rally Grifter um, handlebar, uh, uh, front fork. So anyway, those are gonna go on there. Where's the black pins? Okay, so the black pins are gonna go, oh, sugar foot. I just push that in and that's, that's gonna be tricky to get out. But we have our handy trusty tool that was given to us in BrickLink. It's gonna go in the middle, then Black pins go go top and bottom, and then this is just going to come in the other side, like so. Yeah, interesting. Oh, we got adding some more. So we got five blue pins. Two, three. Four and five, and another one of those connectors with the holes through the middle of it. Try and find one. So far, we've been pretty good on parts. So far. There it is. So this is going to go second hole on the end facing that way. So the hole's facing that way. Then we got two blue pins. So we got, and they get, these are all going in short ways. Then we got a space. Then there. And then we've got short ways again we've got a space then a pin then a pin then a space and a pin ah now we're getting ready to mount this thing okay so this is going to go looks like on the ends of these two pegs here On 
onto those two blue pegs and then this one's going to connect onto there now we're getting a little bit more of an even bigger model so that that is that is definitely looking a lot bigger than what it was So it looks like we're going to be extending this axle again through this hole here. Uh, possibly extending these as well because this is the steering. So this is probably going to connect to the back axle here. Huge. It's, it's a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. That's for sure. It is definitely going to be a lot bigger than I thought it was. Which is cool. I'm I'm down for that. I'm down for a decent size Lego set. Right, so we want a three axle. Three three axle. And we want a tan gear small. Tan gear small. And so the free axle is gonna go on the end of the engine axle. As I said, that we're going to be extending it, and then the gear is going to go on the end of that, like so. Right, stage 51. Another one of those connectors, gray connectors, like that. Uh, a three axle. And then the three axle is going to go through the axle hole, funny enough. And then we've got black. Are those through plates? These two here. So these are going to go on the ends, hanging down like so. They work quite well as spaces, I think. Okay. And then we've got another one of those gray connectors again facing up so we built a similar sort of thing to this last time and a three axle going across so we built a very similar thing to that where we had shoulders on the end of it last time so that's 53 so 54 oh we got some more connectors uh, there's one so that's going to go like that You don't have to worry about it being too quiet. Okay. So you got that kind of thing going on. And then we got an eight long axle with a stopper. Dark bluish gray. Which is that. Um, two of these red pieces here and one gray one these collars and okay so one of those that kind of u-shape bricks i think we've only got one of those in these sets uh there it is all right so these are usually used for gears, usually uh, gears hide in there. So it's got a gear as well, tan gear. Right, build it. So first thing is that the axle, then the gray collar, then the gear, the gear facing outwards towards the, the collar then that's going to pop into there and then this is going to go there so it's like that okay and then the two 
red collars are going to go on the end to make a spacer. Okay. So then the diagram I've got here is a 12 axle. It has to be a 12 axle. There's just no other way that there's anything else. And then we've got the big tan flat gear. And that is going to go on the end like so. And then you go push the axle through, catch the tan gear. And it's going to go even, Stevens. So a bit like that. So we have. bevel gear motion going on nice very cool and then this is going to attach to the floor so that way round the axle is going to go through that great piece there these pieces are going to be held in by these blue pins so get those this one doesn't want to go in oh no I just pulled them all out Ooh. there we go let's push it home come on So there we go. And you turn this, look at this, look, look, look at this. So you turn this and we got piston movement. So this has to come through a little bit further, I think, because this is going to be the rear, the rear axle. I guess that is going to be the rear axle. Nice, that's that's some simple build there, right there. That's really quite good. Okay, so five. Is that a five black? I think it's a five black. Uh, a five grey axle. And an eleven black. It's this one here, I think. It is. And we want a Technic ball and a five axle. We will use the five axle. The Technic ball goes on the end of the five axle, like so. Uh, and then we've got the 11 black, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and a red collar. This axle is going to go through, and then that is going to be held on with the collar. And then stage 62, we've got two blue pins going in the end here. And they're going in short end, right at the end, next to each other, like so. Then the five black is going to go on the end of those blue pins. And then we want a seven axle. It's the last yellow seven axle. Blue pin, long blue pin. Uh, extension arm or torque arm or whatever they want to call it uh, a moon gear. moon gear moon gear moon gear there it is moon gear 
and that's it, I think. Oh, and a, a tan gear. And I think that's the last tan gear. enough tang gears really I didn't get enough out. I do have one in my mystery build order though. I will take that and I'll just remember to take one of James's after. Right, so anyway, we have Sixty four is the arm is going to attach to a blue pin like so, and then there is Moon gear is going to go on the end of that, like that. The yellow axle is going to go through, and the tang gear is going to sit on the edge like that. And this, this winds. I don't know if you can see this. But if you watch the distance between the dark grey and the light grey piece, you wind it, it gets shorter, you wind it the other way, it gets longer. That's why they're, I believe they're called torque arms. We had a few of those on the helicopter that we uh, did because you had to use these for the, the uh, landing gear on the helicopter. And then we got another 11 black, right? 11 black. And we're just going to close this off like so. And then we're going to put the another technic ball on the end of the other side there it is like so push it through evenly it's like a catapult <laughs> looks like a looks like a catapult to me and Three blue pins, long, one, two, three. Move these aside a bit so you can see what's going on. Uh, a, a seven long black, 
so long black and a three axle three axle and a four by one L shape light gray four by one uh, build it trebuchet no it could be a trebuchet but it looks more like a catapult see that looks a bit more like a catapult whereas a trebuchet kind of throws things over doesn't it um I know that a, 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 a catapult throws things over as well as a trebuchet, but the trebuchet kind of rolls. So the blue pin's gonna go through that. The axle is gonna go through that. And this is gonna attach to the black seven and then this is going to have a pin there and a pin on the end and then that's going to go on like so interesting and then we're going to close it off so we got a blue pin and another black seven there we go. so the black seven goes on the other side just to even that up and then the blue pin is going to go through the L shape like so nice nice smooth finish okay this is attaching to so push that through like that this is attaching to okay. Okay. That, that's where it's going to go like that now then what's this doing So according to this, this looks like that, like that. Ah, we got to extend this. So it's partially covering that. going in there is it I think that's gonna go in there like that I may be wrong so if you wind it, it drops that piece down. So you wind it the other way. I'll push that through so you can see it. So you wind it the other way, it lifts it up. Wind it the other way, opens it up. So I'm not quite sure what's going on that just yet. It's a clever bit of a design for sure. And so we got a connector that's going on the end of the other side of that. There we go. 
connectors going on the other end like that and then we've got a 12 axle another 12 axle there we go 12 axle and a red collar the red collar is going to go on that axle and it's going to go looks like dead center and then it's going to go through that one there like that uh, two fifteens so we take two fifteens and a black pin and it looks like we're finally finally closing this lot off that on there like that and then this there we go line up five pins bad enough lining up four so we've got five to line up ooh, 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 ooh. So there we go got it nice nice okay and then we've got a pin black pin going on the end of that bar that we just popped in and then it's going to hold the other 15 so we want two black pins grifter handlebars or front forks grifter front forks grifter front forks where are you oh there you are the front forks and a five boom so the two pins and then this goes in the middle like last time and then goes there cool and 115 and a connector there we go connector another bid or someone's paid and that's going to close this off get that black I don't think we've got anything ending today though so I'm guessing that's a bid and that's closed off like so and it's not it's not closed off like so I completely messed that up there we go now we can once there we go got it and then connector on the other side nice looking good looking good stage 75 another five gray uh, two blue pins long one black pin build it okay so that's going to go through there halfway on either side and then this black pin is going to go through the middle and this is going to run alongside that 
grey 15 bottom of the engine like so uh, blue pin black pin blue pin black pin so the black pin is going to go in the grey 15 in between the other two and the blue pin Where's the blue pin going? Mm. It's there in the black pin. I see the blue pin. Um, where are we? One, two. It's going to go in lengthways like that. Ooh. Ooh. Right, okay, so we have four black pins. Uh, four tubes. One, two, three, four. And ET's head. One of ET's heads. Okay. And a five axle grey. Five axle grey. And a grey connector. There we go. And build it! Okay, so the grey connector is going to go on the axle, like that. Black pin is going to go into that grey connector. ET's head is going to go alongside on the axle, like that. Then we're going to have the other three black pins. And then we got the hoses, these tubes, going to go on the ends of those black connectors. Like so. Cool, I like that. And then this is going to go on the end of that forearm there. Hmm. And we got some stickers that we're not putting on. We're, we're still save, saving his, his sticker sheets. We're not doing that. A cone shape and a five long go five long uh, where's that going I put that on the wrong way I think like that and that goes across the top that and then this is going to go on the end like that I would have probably put a longer a longer op, longer axle on that but there you go turbo oh, okay 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 these are going to attach to these pins here making what looks like a manifold type thing I think I 
tempted to put the tubes on the other side first. Right. This one on the very far end. This one like that. That's a pretty cool look. <clears throat> I can't like that. <clears throat> that is a pretty cool look. side probably no, we're still sticking to this side L shape 5 by 3 or 5 by 2 uh, one black pin a blue pin with an axle and a collar okay now then so pin where the axle is going in the middle of the L shape, the black pin is going above that and then the collar is going on the axle of the blue pin. And then this is going to attach to these blue pins and the axle is going to go through the end of the L shape. <coughs> like that. And then we've got another crankshaft, a small collar crankshaft, crank handle. <coughs> and then this is going to go on the end of the axle. If I push it through again. And then it's going to get capped off with a collar. Okay. <coughs> um, tan pin with axle. One of these funny looking Technic frame pieces and a three by one L shape gray. So the pin's going to go through the elbow of the ax, uh, the, the frame, and then that is going to go on the end like so. And then this is going to connect to connects to the black pin there that connects to the gray piece of the arm there so we've got a little bit of that it's kind of nice little rocker arm movement yeah I can switch it over. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Oop, wrong one. Oh, that's framing. Are you good? Yeah. <clears throat> do, do, do. No problem. And so, what we got going on next is a bit more framework bollocks things. We've got periscope, so 
So periscope, three axle, uh, three axle, a uh, connector, block connector. There it is. Um, it looks like a black pin with a uh, black axle with a pin on the end of it. And those have been in, in previous builds and they became quite rare. Here we go. <coughs> they became quite rare and I had to go and find a load more. <laughs> All right, build it. Let's go. So we've got the gray three axle going into the connector and then the periscope's going into the end of that. Hole facing up, the pin's going to go into the periscope. Then this is going to fit on the end of that. Right. Looks good. Uh, T bar. Okay, we've got T bar. And black smooth peris periscope, black smooth periscope. Uh, the periscope is going to go into the end of the T bar at a slight angle. All right. And we got turn, turn it around. It's going to attach to. Piece there. And we got three long universal joint. There we go. A six long red axle. Six long red axle. A uh, three long axle. Three long axle. And a black connector. Where is a black connector? Probably getting low on those now. Mm, 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 there is. <coughs> Build it. Build it. That and that and there and that and there. And then that seems to go on the end like that. So this universal joint is going to sit on the end of the steering. Ah, I see, right, okay. I see, I see, I see. So. It's going to go through there. Tilt it down until... matches up with the universal connector yeah all right so hmm steering is from the back so it's going to have a uh, hog steering <coughs> hog hand of god boom gear connector really it's four connectors there we go so the red axle is going to go through the connector. The moon gear is going to go under the end of that. And then this is going to go on the end of the axle we just popped in. Now we've got this kind of connection going on here from the steering to the universal joint to this here, which looks like it's going to be, yeah, the easy steering. The hand of God steering. Nice. Fifteen long grey. Fifteen long grey. With uh, one blue short pin. Two long blue pins. Uh, and two black pins. There we go. Build it. So that's going to go there. We 
got a one, two, three, four, five, five gaps. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, then the short pin's going to go in that way. And then we've got two black pins, gap, pin, gap, like that. <coughs> and then this is going to attach to hmm. Yeah, okay. So those two black pins, three black pins, four black pins. Um, yeah, sit down for us, Ta. Thank you. Push those through. I'm being a bit preemptive there, but yeah, push those through. Right, cool. Uh, a three long gray. Um, there we go, three long gray. And then this is going to go on the end of the two blue pins here. And then we've got, <coughs> ah, we're doing the manifold on the other side now. So four tubes, three, four, four tubes, uh, a four long dark gray connector, ET's head, head and another one of those gray connectors there you go it's probably the last one of those five black pins one two three four five uh, a, a gray five axle there you go five axle build it build it Build it. Build it. Right. That on there. ET's head. <coughs> Black pin in the elbow. Pop that on top. Then we're going to fill these with pins. Build it. And then the tubes, which <coughs> personally I thought that the other way around would probably have been easier, but we'll see. This may be the easier way. Come on. There we go. Get a bit of brute force on that. Now then, we don't have there. We go. All right. So again, another five long gray. That should be the last one, I think. That's going to attach to the pin. Then the cone shape is going to fit on the end of that. And then we've got to find homes for these tubes. This is, this is more tighter than the last time. Huh. There we 
it just came straight off. Yeah, there's not much space between those. Got it. So then that one goes on the second one. Get the wiggle. Third one. one yeah baby looks good nice like it like it like it like it looks very good uh, then we got to do the L shape on the other side so a black five by three we go black pin, blue pin with axle, and the red. Red collar, there we go. So this is blue pin in the middle, black pin above, and the collar on the blue pin. And then that's going to go on the axle and the blue pin, like so. Awesome. Uh, you got the crank arm, small collar. And the crank arm is going to go on the end of that axle there. Put the collar on over the top. And then I'm guessing that we're doing <coughs> the same thing as last time. Let's have a look, see. This one, yeah, and we're doing the same thing. We got the Technic Beam, Tang Gear, and the four by four by two. Tan gear in the uh, tan pin in the middle uh, on the lowest part inside like that L shape on the end and then this attaches to the black pin. This attaches to the crank handle like that. Oh, is that the sixteen? <coughs> Four periscopes. Um, hmm. Four periscopes. Plan one. There's one. One. Two. Three. Four. Let's 
16 long mastic tube and one black pin and a four long axle black. All right, build it. So we've got a pin and the end of the axle and the end of that periscope and the end like that. The tube is going to go all the way through and the periscopes are going to go on the end. What the hell happened there? That's a bit loose. I don't know about that. Let's go with this one to see what this is like. Yeah, that's a bit loose as well. Huh. I don't think I've noticed that before. Maybe it's the axle. Can we get another one? That's the only four axle I've got. Nope, right, let's get another one. Yeah, that axle's been well worn. I'm going to try and use that somewhere that it's not overly. major. Right, so line these up as best as we can like so and then this is going to connect on there like that and then these are going to into these here by the looks of things like that forming that nice little arch shape that's quite cool that's quite cool uh, how long are we going for <gasps> two hours I don't think we're going to get this all done. So what we'll do is we'll call it a day for today. Thank you so much to everybody who's come by. This is what we got so far. It's, it's quite it's quite a lot done. It's quite a lot done. We got the engine bit. We didn't see the pistons. We got some steering. See the front axles here. Uh, that's steering. We got where is the? Uh, that's the engine. Sorry, steering. Yes, that's right. There you go. Cool beans. Uh, exhaust manifold. I'm guessing the exhaust mufflers. It's uh, the driver's uh, area and the nice little arch there with that soft gray piece uh, soft gray piece a soft black piece um, and we got some sort of winding mechanism going on at the bottom here on that torque arm I don't know where that's that's gone and then we got this dual arm thing at the moment. Not quite sure where that is as well. Uh, oh yeah, this is the uh, the torque arm piece. It drops that drops that base a bit. 
not sure that, what that's all about as well yet. But yeah, there you go, folks. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed what you saw, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. Don't be shy. Please leave comments. Uh, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave comments. I would love to uh, um, answer people's comments and stuff like that. Um, I always do. Um, and uh, I will see you in part two, which probably will be tomorrow. It might not be actually because we're getting furniture in tomorrow, so that might not happen. But I will catch you in the next one. I'm Sean from Britain Bricks. Peace.